some reason, I've always gravitated towards telling women's stories. The latest book that I have out is on our Supreme Court Justice, Sonia Sotomayor, and it is for children. This is a book for children, so that our children have really good role models. And I think it's important that children know that there are women that are brave and smart, and that they started off with incredible um, obstacles. You have to believe that you're beyond whatever anybody else thinks. And I kept thinking, all these women that I've re written about, they all had people who doubted them, and they still had this shining light within them that they thought, okay, nobody's gonna change my mind about what I want and what I'm gonna do. What makes a difference between like the women that I've interviewed, the women that I've written about, and everyone else in this room, and our stories? And there is no difference. I can have a nine to five job here, teaching, doing whatever, but I'll never give up my writing. So the same things that all those empowered and empowering Latinas, their list, that's your list. You have purpose, you have passion, you have your own goals, you follow your heart. There will be sacrifices. You gotta want it and you gotta want it bad. So how much are you willing to sacrifice to get there? To become empowered in your own life, to become the hero of your own story, to, to make your dreams come true. And I think all of us have that potential to become empowered, no matter where we're coming from. All of us have these exceptional things within us, right? We all have that drive within us, whatever's important within us, whatever makes us happy. We can also pursue those things. We're here for a reason. You know, we have to change things. We have to be who we are. We have to make a difference. But it starts with being happy with who we are and following our, our own dreams and becoming our own heroes of our own stories. That's how we become empowered. Yeah.